Good morning. We're uh, heading north uh, out of Missoula, Montana, towards Whitefish, Montana. Taking uh, State Route 93. It's uh, a little bit of a rainy day today, which is good. Actually, it's good. It's uh, washing the smoke out of the air. And one of the interesting things about our nation is it's dotted with native Indian uh, I'm not sure what the preferred word is nowadays. Indian reservations. We're in the Flathead tribal lands now. And one of the curiosities is that they technically are sovereign nations unto themselves. And they're allowed to have their own laws. So you are subject to them when you're on their land. And But from a cultural observation, as we pass any highway sign, and we're on a, a state highway, there is the English language information like the name of the town, the distance of that town, and it's also in the native language. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. It's an interesting observation. There are two tribes that live in this reservation, the Salish, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and the Kujanai. Okay. And, but it is cool to see the signage in their language as well as English. Yeah. Oh. The Flathead Reservation is 1.3 million acres. Wow. I, I believe Glacier National Park is 1 million acres, so it's even larger than Glacier National Park. Well. Pulling out of that KOA on the road in our Chevrolet. Turn right at the Texaco, then anywhere we want to go. I know I'm going to get there next to you. Down the tread on four wheels. High on life and loving you, we can do whatever we want to. Finally, as free as we feel, and I'll go down this road if you steer. Miriam made me promise we passed a produce stand she wanted to stop and get some wild huckleberries, which are native to this region. And since we're staying in an Airbnb in Whitefish, we decided to stop in at the local grocery store to do a little shopping for provisions. <laughs> Well, good morning. We made it uh, to Whitefish uh, yesterday afternoon. Got checked into our accommodations for the next week, which is uh, through the Airbnb platform. We've rented a condo uh, in the ski resort outside of uh, Whitefish. Not the name of the resort eludes me at the moment, but uh, we'll give you that information later. Of course, it's not ski season yet, but you wouldn't know that because the temperature last night got into the 40s. Uh, crazy for August, especially for us in Virginia Beach where um, it's probably 85 already. But uh, take you, give you a tour. We're on the uh, second level, which is a, a balcony area. And this is where most of the living occurs. Here we have uh, the living area, the dining area, the living area, and the fireplace. And I suspect we even got a supply of wood. I suspect we'll be using the fireplace uh, throughout this trip. And access to the uh, property through the three floors is through the uh, spiral staircase. Loft bedroom upstairs. Kitchen area. One of the things I really like about the Airbnb platform, it comes equipped with, you know, your utensils and a lot of the consumables. Now this is about all the time, but uh, we've got a, you know, we've got the basics. We got some olive oil, uh, some baking powder, some oatmeal, coffee filters for the coffee pot, salt and pepper, that sort of thing. So you don't have to go to the grocery store and buy everything you need. And if since we're flying commercial with limited space going back, we can't take hardly any of it with us. Uh, we stopped and got some groceries yesterday afternoon. 
from the local grocery store and we're gonna we found a closer grocery store to where we're at just about uh, five miles away we're gonna scope that out this morning but anyway I digress um, made my morning coffee with uh, my uh, AeroPress I really really like that the problem is it's not doesn't produce the volume of coffee we like to drink so when we have the spider which is more room than flying commercial would you believe that there's more room traveling in the spider with the trailer than flying commercial because of the weight limitation on your suitcase and the size limitations so uh, we'll bring our french press a big one wait 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 now <laughs> So, so, we're, so we're on top of the mountain oh, and we're What mountain? What mountain? They're taking bikes up on Oh, a, wow. On a, yeah, they mountain bike down. Good on them. They did it. That's yeah. Cool. We won't be doing that. All right. So this is um, White Mountain, White Mountain Resort. And what state? <laughs> I'm not, I don't wish to be scripted this morning. <laughs> well, our people want to know where we're at. We're on top of the mountain. We're going to do the Alpine slide. Yes. With our brave friends. <laughs> Back to more fun. <laughs> In Montana. In Montana. Right, and we're which one are we doing first? So we all decided we would try this downhill ride experience that we had seen other folks so fast, do on YouTube. Back to slow down. As someone who has spent most of his life flying airplanes, teaching student pilots how to fly, yes, engage in high-speed pursuits as a police open. officer, this was a little benign. So I decided to kick it up a notch in editing to give it some zip. Much better. He just won the gold medal. <laughs> Platinum medal. Uh, Aluminum. Yeah. <laughs> Even the chairlift was open, which gave a scenic ride to the top of the mountain, which had a gift shop and a pub. And since the sun was across the yard arm, which is a phrase I don't fully understand, having never been in the Navy, we decided to partake for a beverage since we were on vacation. And now we're going to wind up this day with a short drive back down the mountain to our accommodations, have a nice afternoon cocktail, hang out with our friends, and talk about plans for the upcoming week. <laughs>